Yes, here's the top wishbone of my Daimler Dart. Um, let me just put the camera up here a minute. So, yeah. This is the wishbone assembly. Um, it's a tiny really, isn't it? It's quite surprising. Uh, anyway, there's this forged part here which fits on top of the uh, suspension turret on part of the chassis. And I've just fitted these two new polyurethane bushes, there's one on the inside and one there, and obviously these go on the, the other end. The challenge was, I guess, to, to try and get the uh, the bush in there. Uh, they push onto the these stubs easy enough, but uh, trying to get the wishbone on is a bit more of a challenge. Uh, the way I've worked out doing it, seems to work for me at the moment at least, <coughs> is simply to... Um, Back in the vice. Uh, is to use the original nuts. So these are the nuts that uh, and the washers that do indeed fit on the ends here. Obviously, the other bush needs to be in there, but I'm just going to pull the first one in first. Uh, the trouble is that that. Uh, you can get it in so far by just winding that nut down with the washer and that will push the wishbone onto the um, onto the bush. The problem is that uh, you get so far and the inner diameter of that washer is too small to fit over the, uh, the spindle in there. So what I've realised is that the, uh, the thrust washers from the lower wishbones happen to be just about the right size and actually fit over the spindle. So with that on there and the other washer on top, you can get it another couple of millimeters at least. So I've simply been winding it on using the nut and indeed it seems to be working. I've lubricated the, uh, the bush on the inside, on the bore the bush with um, with grease, in fact copper grease, because that seems to be something that some of the um, polyurethane bush suppliers actually recommend or supply as their original equipment. <coughs> but um, on the outer surface of the bush I've instead put um, just some soap just to hopefully ease it in, but uh, not allow the bush to spin in the, the wishbone itself ultimately as the plan anyway. So that's worked. So if I put another of the old thrust washers, I've got the new ones by the way, uh, in a packet over here somewhere. Yeah there's the new ones. But um so these old ones will do for this job. So just stack those up. I think that should be enough to get it all the way down. It's going to be interesting to see how I get the uh, the outer bush in, but I haven't quite got that far yet. Yeah, looking pretty good. I'll well push it on as far as I can to give me, or we'll reduce the difficulty of getting the uh, the outer bush in. I think that's it. Oh, there we go. I can't remember, I did, I rebuilt the car about um, well, it's nearly 40 years ago now and uh, put rubber bushes in. I remember having a hell of a job doing it, but I can't remember, I didn't uh, document how I did it, but uh, at least this time I've got some kind of record. Not that I'm ever likely to do this again, I don't think, but still. Good, so there we go. Looks like that is reasonably well down. And it stayed down as well, which is good. 
So I'll say the next challenge is going to be trying to work out how the hell to get this uh, this top one in. Well, I've worked out a way of doing it. I'll maybe uh, record another video. That's all for now. Thanks.